Hey, CP, can you believe we got to interview someone again for the dean's position? I know you're really struggling with me leaving, but it's just something we've got to get through. I've given you all the questions. We've just got to get it over with. Okay. Can you tell me who our first applicant is? Yeah, we've got an applicant from, um, ah, Wesleyan. The wolves? No, the puppies. As a small puppy, how do you think you're going to be a dean of students at GAC? Oh, first thing, new color scheme, salmon and cream, and, and, and ties. How do your students live without ties? Have you ever played the game Uno? When you get down to one, what's that one thing that you're going to do that makes a difference in the lives of students at GAC? Easy. Why is there not already a Vineyard Vines campus store? At GAC, we really want our kids to feel inclusive by everything they do and say. How can you improve that in, among our environment and among our faculty and staff? Let me tell you, darling, the first thing we need to do is to update this dreadful mid-century prosaic decor. It's all declassé and plebeian. What we need to do is surround these kids with greatness so they can feel greatness. And I say the first way we do that is to tighten the admission standards. Only students driving German-made vehicles will be accepted. On Fridays, we have ice cream in the dining hall, and sometimes this creates long lines. What would you do to make sure kids aren't acting out and they're on their best behavior? The worst part about school lunch is it's school lunch. The first thing we do is bring in my good friend Wolfgang Puck for a 12-course tasting menu for these students. We'll complete it with roasted gooey duck, canapes, coquille, coquille Saint-Jacques, Blanc de Vassy, Gorgosny, Blipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipnipn
What are your strategies to build a culture in which everyone feels capable of grasping greatness? Let me tell you, sir, when I was in Nam, how we handled growth. Sir, we handled growth with an M60 racket, a fragmentation grenade, and an iron will. hoo Sometimes we have issues with our faculty in the lunchroom. They like to leave their plates, leave their glasses, leave their forks, leave their spoons, leave their quinoa spread everywhere. What would you do to make sure that that doesn't happen on your watch? Lunch? Sir, you give your students lunch? You still give lunch? Let me tell you how we handle that where I'm from, sir. At 0200, we take kids out and do push-ups and the plates of food, and it's a steady meal of blood, sweat, tears, dirt, and for dessert, my shoe leather, sir. Minecraft is for mama's boys who think that it's a game and not a workaround for the Geneva Convention. Charles, I'm trying to be humble here, but... I appreciate you trying to be humble. Yeah, it's difficult for me. Um, because I sort of feel like I've done such a great job over the last two years. Students love you here. Oh, I am popular. Yes, you are. Uh, when I walk into a room, it's like a magnet. They come to me. I it's unbelievable. That. I used to think that they would scatter when I walked in a room, but that doesn't happen at it all. It doesn't happen at all. As a matter of fact, students are starting to give me infractions as gifts. It's been unbelievable, really. It's been a blessing, um, a big-time blessing. I hear you. And even though I'm sad to leave, it's going to be pretty hard to replace me, and I would imagine that you know that. I know that. I mean, I'm probably the most humble person I've ever met, so I don't know that I'm going to be able to um, vote for any of these guys because it's going to be pretty hard to replace me. I know. You might not reconsider staying. Yeah. Literally, there are going to be big shoes to be filled. Amen. Big shoes. Huge. Huge. You know, the Riverside military uh, applicant? Yes. Um, I was sort of getting that Tim Baker, Mark Mark Boyd vibe. Um Made me a little bit nervous as he referred to the sophomore class as a terroristic cell. Um, I and, and I mean, when he called Derek Wilson a fundamentalist cleric, I mean, he might be right, but that's inappropriate to say. I agree with in you. In an interview, without a doubt. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, what are your thoughts about that view for that? Well, I don't right. know. I don't. I, I don't. I don't know what I think about it. He, Caught me off guard a lot, a little caught bit me over off the top. Guard. What'd you think about him? He caught me off guard a lot. He leads in the wake his faint odor of pork rind. Smells like Red Bull and the GED. I bet he didn't pass. I know he didn't. That's why he's that beautiful. <laughs> what do you think about that Westland applicant? Well... I mean, the fact that one of his references was Alex Bufton is a good thing. Hey, Amen for Alex Bufton. Yeah, we yeah. love Bufton, but... Yes. His other two references, the nanny and the butler, that's a no-go. No-go.